Hello, welcome to Tip and Tell Tech. My name is Keith Berry, where I provide you the straight and level tips on technical gear, tools, and gadgets. Today I'm in my car, I'm gonna give you a old school review of the Garmin Nubi 2595 LMT. We're gonna go over uh, the features, the functions, the settings. I'll give you my uh, tips and tell of the Garmin Nubi 2595. Back to uh, Tip and Tell Tech. Again, we're going to do a uh, review of the Garmin Nubi 2595 LMT. We're in my car right now at a remote location. Uh, just a little uh, specs on the uh, Garmin Nubi 2595. It is a, a five inch touchscreen display, 480 by 272 resolution. It has real time traffic, it's got Bluetooth. With uh, the LMT stands for Lifetime Maps Traffic Updates with uh, maps for Canada, Europe, US, and Mexico. One new feature on this is a speech recognition, which I'll demonstrate. It weighs 6.8 ounces. Uh, battery life of approximately about two and a half hours, rechargeable. It's got, of course, trip planner, trip log, a lot of other applications for uh, audio books, uh, phone, um, a variety of other uh, features I'll demonstrate and uh, lane assistance search. So, as we're talking about um, the reason why we want to uh, show um, use an old school Garmin uh, or any GPS for auto navigation is most people these days obviously rely on um, you know their Google Maps or whatever app map app they have on their iPhone or Android phone or whatever phone they have and you may not always be in a um, good uh, cell data reception location um, for example right now I got an Android phone here that um, as you can see has not pulled up all of uh, the um, my Google Maps app opener it's partially pulled up but I have very low cell data reception I can't rely on this right now to uh, provide uh, navigation to what I need to do uh, if you're in the mountainous area or area that uh, is remote you may not have that cell data reception where as long as you got a line of sight to the sky for satellite reception then you can use your uh, auto GPS like a uh, Garmin newbie that we have right here so I will go ahead and go over the uh, Garmin uh, Nubi with you. As you can see, you can see we got a good uh, uh, satellite reception here. Uh, one couple things on this uh, Garmin uh, GPS is that you have capability of using it for car or pedestrian. So you can click on here, you can choose if you want to go hiking with it, you can do that. Um, there's probably other GPS better for it, but obviously auto and pedestrian, you can choose. Uh, you got your status of uh, battery. Right now I'm plugged into my car port right now um we've got obviously where to so if i go into where to it pulls up several uh, locations i can go and enter i can enter a search i can go to obviously my home address um so i can choose my home start a new route uh, add a route i can uh choose an address enter a uh, house number street uh city state information there um, it's got some common categories already up here as a uh, restaurants choose what style restaurants you want that you want to go to uh, obviously gas stations is an important one if you want to bell you know need to go get a you know gas you obviously want to go to the uh, closest gas station uh, if you need to um, shopping of course you can add shortcuts and of course, it's got the full category right here where you got restaurants, shopping, everyday life. Let's take a look at everyday life, you know, car washes, universities, community centers, gyms. Uh, obviously, we talked about gas stations, banks, parking, rest areas. Um, rest areas is a important one if you're on the highway traveling. What's closest rest area if you need to go to? Um, you can get the miles and direction needs to, tractions. 
you know, you've got major attractions, amusement, historic, museums, recreation, obviously medical care, hospitals, medical services, the clinic, or pharmacies, uh, airports for transit, bus stations, car rental, ferries, lodging, of course, is an important one, bed and breakfast, camps, hotels. So, um, pull up the closest hotels where you're at, so. You got the saved locations where you can pull up what you've saved in the uh, Garmin GPS. I got right now home and work, but I can put my certain uh, locations, restaurants, or whatever I like. I can enter that in there and save it. And of course, recent. So obviously, you travel someplace recently, you need to go and to go to a recent uh, place that you want to go to back again. You can go there fairly quickly. Um, could go, start new route. And there it is. I'll take it, pull up the map, and I'll show you. Obviously, you click on this port, it gives you the instructions on how to get there. If you go in, and obviously, I can uh, zoom out and uh, pull up my route on my map and see where I need to go. All right, so there you are. Is where to uh, view map. Here you are, you can see where you are. Um, you touch the map, zoom out. And we'll just uh, turn off the navigation and see where we are. So, you know, you can see uh, where you are. You got the time, elevation 125 feet, speed, we're not going anywhere, driving southeast. And, uh, you know, see the locations and information where you're at, highways, cities, all that. So uh, I live in uh, Massachusetts near Plymouth. So you can see where it is. Everything is right there. Um, so that that's maps right there. you got other uh, options here. You can obviously put in post, make sure you have traffic um, and give you information about the traffic. So right now, if I uh, go back to the map, I could zoom out. And uh, it would pull up and color code the traffic right now. Um, there's no traffic or anything right now. It's a uh, Sunday, so um, but you can pull up uh, traffic and everything on that. Okay, and that's uh, the traffic legend. Color coded yellow showing delay, red obviously delay not moving and so forth. So there's information right there. You got. Obviously settings, you can change the map and vehicle type and options, navigational route. Um, you can of course, you know, choose how you want to route, faster time, avoid U-turns or tolls, uh, display, change the color mode, orientation, landscape, um, portrait, you know, landscape, whatever. Um, traffic modes, you know, how you want to see traffic, units, measurements, language. And of course, device settings, uh, apps. Um, there's a variety of apps on here. You got, of course, a help thing to give you instructions how to use the Garmin Nubi uh, 2595. You have smartphone link where you can uh, link to your smartphone, iPhone or Android. Uh, you got uh, Eco Route um, where you can set up the most economic, fuel efficient way to get to a destination. Audible. As you're driving long distance, maybe you want to hear an audio book. You can uh, load in audio books here and listen to that while you're go going. Voice command, which is kind of a nice feature, where you just uh, say, a command. say voice command, find, view map. View map. And it'll pull up uh, what you want. So it's a ha good hands-free uh, safe safety feature on this uh, Garmin Nubi 2595, where you just say voice command. Command. Go home. And there you are. Very quick without having to uh, take your hands off the wheel and um, do that. So there you are. You got uh, 
trip planner so you can store if you're going on a cross country a long trip you can store a plan a trip there uh, picture viewer if you had upload your pictures on your trip you can pull up the pictures there um, of course you got where I've been you can get a log of all the locations you've been world clock you know no time zones area set up alarm clock if you need to alarm you know need that last spot it's good for parking if you choose that if you're in a parking lot and you need to locate your car you can take the Garmin with you and I'll turn it on and you can uh, notify where you are where your car is parked and of course um, you got a calculator you know unit conversion language guide you can choose different languages all there so there is your apps volume quick and easy to adjust the volume how you need to adjust that very easy uh, you can mute it if you want okay so you also have the last thing is the phone app so you know, pull up you could take a pull up of your phone book um, you can browse categories and choose uh, phone numbers for close by restaurants shopping gas stations whatever you need to do um, pull up you know, dial a number enter the dial number um, pull up your call history you know last dialed choose that information uh, voice dial that's all through the voice command too so um, that's a nice feature that works with your uh, iPhone or Android phone that you have Bluetooth to be able to make phone calls uh, receive phone calls and dial it out through your GPS uh, so you can be safe without being handheld because of the laws on GPS so my tell or my tip for today for the uh, Garmin Nuvi 2595 GPS would be um, utilizing the voice command as much as possible command. view map and you can uh, be hands-free without you know taking your hands off the wheel distracting your eyes or whatever to uh, view the map see where you are or go to a destination or even dial a phone number or whatever you need to do the voice command so I definitely utilize uh, the voice command is my tip for the uh, Garmin Nubi 2595 my tell would be that I wish they had uh, more features and options on the map itself um, you see that you got the uh, you know arrive time you know and miles speed and driving and, and mute the volume and all that but there's no icon to make it a 2d or 3d or north up or, or heads up um, options on the map you you know to get to those uh, features if you want to quickly do change the map you have to go back into the settings map and vehicle and make the changes there so uh, that would be my tell I recommend for Garmin to uh, add those icons on the map view but uh, I strongly recommend the Garmin Nubi 2595 as your backup uh, car GPS source. Uh, like I said, you may not always be in a uh, location to have cell data or your, your, your map app, whether it's Google Maps or whatever, maybe not downloaded completely, whatever, like in this case. So, I mean, I'm here in New England, so, you know, you're not always in a cell reception. Obviously, if you go out remote in the western part of the United States, you have less cell data, too. So... You're going to have to depend on your uh, GPS even more. So uh, that is it for my review for the Garmin Nubi 2595. Uh, I, uh, if you like it, please feel free to hit the uh, like button. I appreciate it. Um, if you like my Tip and Tell Tech uh, videos, please subscribe to Tip and Tell Tech. I greatly appreciate it. Um, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Everyone have a good day.